hello everyone uh, today we will discuss one of the very uh, common uh, amazon interview question so this is one of the very basic question that is asked so this is uh, my first video on the series of amazon interview questions so this would be uh, i'll tell you how to approach these questions so this is a very fairly simple one and i'll show you uh, how to approach using uh, dif using different data structures and using different approaches so the question is given this array uh, you need to find th this array is given and a number and a number uh, let's say uh, 13 is given k is equal to 13 so you need to find uh, at the two you need to you need to see if uh, this array contains two numbers whose sum is equal to 30 so if that sum is if those number exist in the array you have to return a true and uh, if the it doesn't uh, exist in the array you have to return a false so this is a question so the simplest solution that you might think of is uh, you will run a two loops let's say for uh, teacher i is equal to zero to less than i Less than n i plus plus and for j is equal to i plus one i plus plus sorry j less than n and j plus plus so if a of of i plus a of j equal equal k then return true else uh, it doesn't happen in the loop you just have to return false so this is a very simple solution uh, you can think of so this is kind of brute for solution the problem the problem with this solution is its complexity since we have the two loops the complexity will be o of n square so the interview will now ask you to optimize it so it might be in terms of in terms of time or in terms of space since the space is here constant so he will ask you to optimize in terms of time so since uh, whenever you get such questions where the data is unsorted think of uh, whether if sorting can help or if any different data structure can help but if you use any different data structure it will introduce and space complexity to the solution currently it, it is constant so you will include introducing a space complexity so let's see if we sort this array is there any solution which can reduce the time complexity actually it is so let's see if we, if we sort the solution if we sort the array using any sorting algorithm let's say it is sol solution two okay so step one is sort the sort the array any sorting algorithm uh, so any sorting algorithm will take n log n time let's say merge sort or heap sort So once we have sorted the array, it will become one, five, six, seven, fifteen, sixteen, nineteen, fifteen, sixteen, nineteen. <coughs> since the since the array is sorted now, we can have two pointers. One is to the initial index, which is zero, and uh, 
other pointer to the last index. So what we'll do is we'll sum the two values, the first value and the last value, the lowest and the highest. So let's say we add up one and 19, so it becomes 20. Since 20 is greater than 13, so we know uh, that we have to reduce the value. So what we'll do is we'll decrement the second pointer. So we'll come at 16. So now it is one plus 16, which is 17, which is again greater than 13. So we'll again reduce this, then it comes to 15. So it is one plus 15, it is again greater than 13. So we'll again reduce it. it now it is one plus seven, which is, which is less than 13. So we'll increase the uh, first pointer. So we'll come to, Five. five plus seven is 12 so it's it's uh, again greater than uh, less than 13 so we'll increase the first pointer so now it is six plus seven so it is 13 so now we have found a solution and we'll return true the important point is how will you code it so let's say the public function it returns boolean and uh, let's say has array sum. Say so is array sum. It takes two parameters. One is array, second is the value. So let's first uh, uh, have the negative test cases. Let's say if if a equal, equal null or a dot length equal, equal to zero return false not even zero it's less than two we can say it's written false now we'll sort this array This internally arrays.sort is a library function of Java, so internally uses the merge sort to sort the array. Now we have two indexes left is equal to zero, integer right is equal to a dot length minus one. So we'll have a uh, uh, We'll run the loop till the left pointer is less than the right pointer. If uh, a of L plus A of R is equal to K, uh, then we have found the solution. So we'll straightforward return true. Let's see. This is, uh, let's say greater than K, then we decrement, de decrement the right pointer. Else, it means that the sum is less than K, so we increment the left pointer. So this, if this loop, uh, if, if, if this function comes uh, out of this loop it means it doesn't find any solution so we will return false so while answering the question you have to keep mind you first convey your algorithmic algorithmic language uh, i mean al algorithmic thinking and then you can efficiently code it so the uh, language is not a barrier you can use any, any language like i have used java here you can use uh, C++, you can use C, you can use 
javascript you can use perl you can use any language so that's that is not a barrier so you have to concentrate on two points first convey your thinking your thought process to the end viewer and second is write a bug bug free code so here as you see i cover all the negative test cases uh, the code is clean and you see these uh, naming convention it should be in camel case and uh, it is self explanatory now so by this way you can approach the solution now you can you can see that the 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 complexity has reduced to uh log n because uh the total time complexity is and log n plus uh, we are using one uh, iterating the array once so it is o n so this is basically n log n so now you have a efficient solution in terms of time complexity so by this way you have to approach the solutions so come up uh, if you're not able to come up with the direct efficient solution just convey your brute force solution try to see where you can reduce the time complexity it's always the case that you either use any data structure like hash map or searching can help uh, or sorting can help binary search can help so these are the uh, topics you have to keep in mind i mean uh, the al different algorithms or data structures so while solving these questions uh, you can easily easily hit those points so that is uh, uh, uh the uh, one of the questions that is usually asked in amazon so i'll keep on adding more of questions but i uh, if you like this video please come on comment on it and uh, share it as much as you can and please subscribe my channel i am putting a lot of efforts and i wanted to uh, make these I want to tell these tip and trick, tips and tricks to all the students who are seeing this, all the candidates who are preparing for the interviews. So I'll wish you good of good luck and please subscribe my channel. Thank you.